Hey, it's Paul with Two Metrics, and I wanted to do a follow-up video on a video that we put together for Laguna a few weeks ago where we did a deep dive look at their bandsaws, the new 14BX, uh, both a one and three quarter horse as well as a two and a half horse. So the follow-up questions were around, can you tell me some specifics about what I can expect differently uh, if I go with the two and a half horse versus the one and three quarter horse? Some people wanted to know, is it the same motor? just wired 110 volt versus 220 volt. So I can hit that one right up front and tell you that no, it is definitely not. The two and a half horse motor is physically larger, has about 42, 43% more horsepower uh, than the 110 volt one and three quarter horse. So you can rewire the one and three quarter horse motor to run under 220 volts, but you're still gonna have a one and three quarter horse motor and you're still gonna have the same uh, throughput performance when you're doing resawing. So uh, in order to really measure the performance and define what the other differences were, we set up a test where we uh, configured each of the saws with the same Resaw King blade. Uh, the Resaw King blade is ideal for performance testing around resawing because it's got carbide tipped teeth which are gonna stay sharp throughout the tests uh, and the variable spacing really gives you good performance cutting while you're pushing the saws to their max. So what we did was cut up boards into three, five, seven, nine, 11, and 13 inch sizes and measured the, the maximum throughput that we could achieve on each saw using the same size boards. We ran a bunch through, averaged it out, and we'll, we'll talk about the specific, what the specific performance curve looks like in a bit. Um, so essentially what we found was at the, the smaller sizes, the saws were roughly equivalent in terms of their ability to cut through that at a, a, a defined rate. As the size increased, more load applied to each of the saws. We saw the two and a half horse uh, gaining in its advantage over the one and three quarter horse. Uh, and you can see by this performance curve that once you get up to the 11 and 13 inch sizes, the difference is pretty pronounced. And, we then, and these were all construction lumber, uh, just for kind of ease of testing. Uh, we then maxed it out with a 13-inch cut on a walnut plank. <clears throat> and in that, we ran at about two and a half times the throughput um, on the two and a half horse saw. The second area that we looked at was the amperage draw on the, each of the saws while we were pushing them hard during these resaw tests. So the two and a half horse uh, was drawing in the range of six to eight amps as it was pushed to the max. Uh, that's a cool running motor at that point. The, uh, the one and three quarter horse was, now remember we were pushing this hard, but it was up in the 20 amperage range. Um, so that means if you're going to run that saw uh, you're on 110 volts, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a dedicated 110 volt circuit uh, and not push it too hard so you're not maxing out those amps. So the third area is really a derivative of the second area. So the amperage draw, uh, as you run into higher amperage draw, you're going to create more heat within that motor and that's going to accelerate the wear and tear on the motor. So these are both well-made motors and for modest use on that 110 volt one and three quarter horse, uh, I don't think it's going to be a factor. Uh, but if you're a production shop or a heavy resaw user, uh, that wear and tear is going to add up over time, and that could be a deciding factor to take a look at the uh, two and a half horse, or at least rewire the one and three quarter horse to uh, 220 volts so it lowers the, the amperage draw. So that kind of wraps up the, uh, the three areas. Uh, I think if you're uh, really, what it comes down to for me is if you have 220 available to you in the shop, I would go with the two and a half horse. Uh, the, the cost uplift is not substantial. The benefits in terms of performance, uh, durability are substantial. Um, but if you don't have two 20 volt power in your shop, uh, go ahead and go with the one and three quarter horse. I think you're gonna find, like I have found for the last two years with my 1412 bandsaw which, from Laguna, which uses the same motor, uh, you're going to find a great experience with that. I've done tons of resawing on it, pushed that to its max many times, and never had any concern uh, whatsoever. Um, I would have been happy with that saw for the rest of my life if I hadn't tried the two and a half horse uh, 14BX. 
So that wraps us up. Appreciate the questions coming in. Um, we'll try and keep these coming for you. Uh, in the meantime, please subscribe to the Toolmetrics uh, YouTube channel, and we'll, uh, you'll see a lot more woodworking and tool-focused videos coming your way.